Hypertension affects approximately 76 million Americans and nearly 1 billion people worldwide. And many people aren't even aware that they have it, and that's why it's known as a silent killer. Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, the chief medical officer of Pfizer, is back to raise awareness about high blood pressure and its very serious consequences. Welcome back. Always great to be here. You know, if people want to age in a healthy way, checking your blood pressure regularly is really an easy way to get that done. A lot of people think, um, I don't have to worry about this until I'm in my late 50s or 60s or older. Not true. 19% of women and 25% of men in the 35 to 44 age group have hypertension. So the first thing to know is no matter what age you are, check your blood pressure and know your blood pressure numbers. You can get it at your doctor's office, you can do it at the pharmacy, or you can even do it at home with a home monitor. You have to do it the right way. And before you measure your blood pressure, avoid things like caffeine, tobacco. Take your blood pressure when you're relaxed. Get both feet on the floor. You want your left arm, for instance, to be supported at your heart level. Place the blood pressure cuff on your upper arm. That first number, the top number, measures the pressure in your arteries when your heart is beating. The second or bottom number measures the pressure in the arteries when your heart is at rest in between beats. So ideally, you're going to get two readings to measure for accuracy. 120 over 80 is considered normal for most adults. When you start getting up to 140 over 90 or higher, that is considered high blood pressure. Readings that are 180 over 110 or higher, that is considered a hypertensive crisis. And if you know that you have high blood pressure and you are not working to get into your target range, oh, you are gambling with your health. And here's what can happen. First of all, hypertension can lead to heart disease, to stroke and memory loss, to kidney disease and kidney failure, and vision loss because the vessels in your eye are damaged by the hypertension. If you have any of these things I'm about to mention, the deck is stacked against you. So if you smoke, if you're obese, if you have diabetes, a history of hypertension, or if you're of advancing age, that means 55 for men and 65 for women, then this is an important message for you to hear. Lifestyle does play a really important role because in many cases, it can be prevented or managed. Exercise and eating right at the top of the list. And Frida, you and I were talking before the segment about how much sodium we get in our diets without knowing it. Reducing the salt in your diet, even in small amounts, can really help because excess sodium may increase blood pressure because it can draw an excess fluid into your blood vessels. That places an added burden on your heart. Now, the average American eats yeah, about 3,300 milligrams of sodium every day. No big deal, right? Well, it is a big deal because we should have at most 2.3 grams, 2,300 milligrams. That's one teaspoon of salt. But if you have high blood pressure already, you have diabetes, chronic kidney disease, if you're over 51 or you're black, the recommendation is actually for no more than 1,500 milligrams of sodium. Read the labels. So. Let's take a look at some of these, which may surprise you. One can of cream corn, 730 milligrams of sodium. And here's an oat bran bagel. You would think that would maybe not be so salty. 532 milligrams. And then soy sauce, 1,024 in a tablespoon. And then sometimes even cereal can surprise you, a cup with 250 milligrams in it. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna try to eat more fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. Try substituting spices in place of salt. And if needed, of course, take your medications as prescribed, doing things like limiting your alcohol intake. Generally more than one drink a day for women, more than two a day for men is too much. There are so many ways that you can add to healthy aging, and one of them, a simple one actually, is just to learn your blood pressure number and manage it. And if you want more information on high blood pressure and how to manage it, go to gethealthystayhealthy.com. And remember, consult your health care provider. With any concerns about your health, you can visit thedoctorstv.com for additional information. Dr. Lewis Hall, thank you. Oh, as always, a pleasure. And coming up, my doctor's orders.